Hello you beauties! So we're in a little bit of a live segment. I don't want to really show you that. Let's see if we can get it down first of all. Let's look at the team we've got. So, some stuff's been changed. Stuff has been changed actually. Oh, I can't even show you the transfer list. Right. No! No! The panic! Okay. So, we're going to start out on this team. This is one team currently that I am thinking of. I have built a new team. Let's look at that first. Let's look at the team we've got. So, where is it? Uh, I believe it's that one. Yeah, okay. So this is the current team right now um, that I've gone for. Gone for a little bit of a hybrid. Obviously, we'd love to get Hazard up there and Monreal will be replaced. I was just using this for squad battles. This guy is a beast. Absolute beast. Really enjoy him. However, he is about 70,000 coins this guy, surprisingly okay, terribly slow, which puts me in a dilemma. Everything else in this team I like. You know, I haven't used Dembele yet. I picked him up for 12k, and we obviously got Baye untradeable yesterday, which was really the whole reason for hybridizing the team out. And Yarmolenko was bought for 88k, just purely on the basis of... I actually hate him as well. This two-star weak foot crap is just so annoying. But he's better than Robin. He's stronger. He's got more stamina. Uh, he's just a, a just a better card than Robin. He's bigger as well. Morales, he's okay. Um, he's nothing spectacular, but limited by coins. I could put Carrasco in on eight chem and get like Danny Rose down here potentially as an option. So that's that's the team as it stands. I am going to probably go and play some seasons with this today and you will see that as well and of course we've got our bench of super subs Rooney I think his price has gone up a little bit since scoring that hat trick and people predicting him getting an inform eh, maybe it's gone up by a few hundred coins nothing spectacular however as you will have seen I'm considering scrapping that team and making another one so this would be the alternative team it would be about 60,000 coins cheaper because I could sell sell uh, Zuba and Mustafi for like 86k and then these guys are all like I think he's like 3k Bakioko's like 5k Goretzka's like 5k and Rose is like 5k so okay so it'd be like just under 20k so it would save me it would give me about 60,000 coins as well there's not a lot though I can do with 60,000 coins right now slightly limited in the options Bakayoko, we all know, is a monster. He's going to be significantly better than Jacker. Gretzka and Zuba, they're pretty much the same card. They're very similar. Mustafi, however, Mustafi compared to Rudiger, Mustafi is immense having used him. Like you look at these in-game stats, his defending stats are just phenomenal. And like his pace is a little bit low, and that's annoying, but what I like about him is his passing, his defending, and his dribbling, actually. He's got decent agility and balance and good reaction. Whereas you compare that to Rudiger, he's obviously taller and faster. He's got decent defending stats, actually. They're not bad. His interceptions are a bit poor, but other than that, he's pretty good. His passing, his short passing is okay. So, do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I need your, your input. Do we sack these two off, get our 80,000 coins, which would give us, like, 100k, let's say. Let's say it gave us 100,000 coins after tax and stuff. When we go out and buy this lot for like 20k maybe, leaving us another 80k to uh, we'll have to get a goalkeeper, probably just get Begovic. Um, but yeah, giving us 80k. What do we do with that 80k? That's the real question. What can I do with it? Who can I get in? But yeah, that's what I wanted your guys' opinion on at the start of this episode. Um, I haven't got any packs or anything. We're just going to go and jump into some Divisions gameplay. Catch you in a bit. Alright then, guys. Division 5 is the meal of the day. We're not going to be using that team, obviously, because we haven't got it yet. I do really want your guys' opinions. as I know that team would be better, but I just think using those meta players, you know, Bakayoko, it's really boring. And to be honest, the way these games went, Jacker actually surprised me. I The thing I'm wary of with Bakayoko, he would be better for getting the ball back. 
However, his passing is terrible, and Xhaka I do kind of use as sort of a Perlo-esque figure. As we come up against our first opponent there, standard BPL team, nothing spectacular. Vardy at left forward, Firmino up front, Salah, a lot of pace except for Firmino. Solid midfield, Rooney's always nice, should be getting an inform, which will make him a very decent centre mid. To be honest, if they really buff his defending, which you never know, the way they've been going with informs, it could be absolutely incredible. And possibly could be the CDM. Apologies for the chair if you can hear it squeaking. However, early on in the game, my opponent here just straight through me with Vardy. Pace, pace, pace. Vardy, that is like the most realistic thing I've ever seen in FIFA. That is Vardy. Bombing through, smashes it in. But it didn't take us long as we do our corner and just drill it across and Zuba's there to slot home. And it's one all. Not too long after that, we're working the ball around, looking for the space. We find Dembele, and he slots it home. 2-1, and then Origi in the 24th minute, away down the wing, just standing up the defender to see where he goes. Cuts it back to Yarmolenko. 3-1. And from going 1-0 down early on, we have the quick turnaround, and we have the quick rage quit. Yeah, so, picking up where we left off, which is good, because I haven't played Divisions in about a week. Um, the only online thing I've played is the Daily Knockout yesterday, but then look at this team. Oh, it's not this team. Just wait for the next team. This team's okay. You're pretty standard. Um, just Calcio A team. That Lukaku card, I'm considering putting him at left back in my team and just playing him on 8 chem, because that'll be more than enough, because he's an absolute monster. But... I do worry about his passing and shooting. I may look at as well, uh, maybe inform Ashley Young. If he gets a second inform and that inform drops cheap. I really wish I'd done the untradeable one now, but I thought, no, I'm never going to use Ashley Young. I'm not going BPL. And then we get untradeable Baye and untradeable Ashley Young. And look at that goal, by the way. Look at that goal. <laughs> just the luck. This guy got every bounce in this game. It was just one of the games where he wasn't a bad opponent, by all means. He was decent, but... Every bounce just went his way as he gets the cut back there to go 2-0. And pretty much put the nail in the coffin. He ran around shushing. He was playing counter-attack. Um, yeah, apparently Division 5 means a whole lot to him. It's it's very important. Like, on a scale of your firstborn child to the death of your hamster, it's definitely above firstborn child for him. Because he ran around shushing playing defensive counter-attack the entire game in a... Uh, Division 5, which was quite amusing. I was amazed at the number of people playing part of the bus. I and mean, then look at this for a team. Jesus Christ, that is like a pros team. Ronaldo, Bale, Omri, Costa, Pogba, Casemiro, Ramos, Bae, Valencia. Like, that is an expensive team. That is by far and away the best team I'm yet to come up against. And I was, I was excited because I thought, you know, this guy might be really good. It might be a nice challenge. And he wasn't a bad player. But we take the lead initially... Going one nil up there with a nice little cutback, four three three five. All about the cutbacks, and we're working the space on the wing again. Get it out to Visa into Origi, who steps around the defender, and it's another cutback to put us two nil up. Ah, sweet relief against that team, or not? Because as EA like to do, they like to give people goals, and for some reason, you can score without beating your opponent's defence. It's stupid for me. Long shots at best should generate a corner. But speaking of corners, we go there and we have a chance. But, of course, we're going to get countered. Because for some reason, I'm not on attacking. I'm on balance. But for some reason, I've got one player back. And if you saw my defender there, I couldn't actually turn him. So we've thrown away a two-goal lead. However, from kickoff, we're going to do a little bit of work there. Nice heel to heel with Morales. Morales is just going to hold up the ball. Wait for some support. Into a Rigi. Back to Morales. 3-2, straight from the kickoff, we restore our lead. Then, not long after that, Zuba, Morales, Morales into Origi. Origi just holding up the ball, Morales back to Zuba, and we're just looking for the space, looking for where we can get it. We see Dembele on the run, we hit Origi, get it over to Dembele. 4-2, I'm thinking, game over at this point. However, my opponent times a lovely ball through and manages to slot home on Gareth Bale's weak foot under the keeper. 4-3. Then in the 90th minute, I get punished for going on the offensive. Once again, it's the 90th minute, we're 4-3 up, and we've got one player back, and he wins the header because for some reason it's Viser. Like, I really don't know why EA don't allow you to set your team up as you want from set pieces. I'm not talking about bringing back custom tactics or custom set pieces, because they were ridiculous for those of you that remember. But 
Why am I not allowed to decide from corners whether I want three players back? You should have the option, one, two, three back, really. And they just sit in the middle of the pitch on your halfway line, and that's it. And then you can have one, two, three back, four, five, six, forward, or six, seven, eight forwards, you know. No, eight, nine, ten forwards. And you can pick one to go on the edge or something, or one, two, three on the edge. Like, I know why they don't do it, because they don't want people to abuse the mechanics, but quite frankly... When conceding from a corner is more likely than scoring, that's simply bad gameplay design. You can see there, straight from another corner, my opponent. Lucky bounces through my defender and off my keeper, and it's from my corner yet again. Now, I don't like it, because honestly, I'm going to stop taking corners right now. I will literally keep the ball and just hold it until my team moves back and then go from there, because there's no point. This guy was really annoying as well. It just sat on Ultra D counter attack. It's amazing the number of people in Division Five that play ultra defensive counter attack. So I played it around on the edge of my in my own half when I was two one up for ages, and he still wouldn't come off it. Like you can still see how deep his team is there. It's it's absurd, but we're not going to let that bother us as we link up with Origi and Dembele and slot it home. Three one. Yeah, that's something that really needs to change for me. I'm amazed more people don't complain about corners. And everyone complains about the kickoff goal. I don't like kickoff goal. Nah, it's not a thing for me. You can defend it. You really can. People complain far too much. There are it's easily defendable. Like it is easier for your opponent to score, but you can also defend it. From corners, however, your AI, you, the game literally decides to set you up however it wants and it just leaves you completely exposed to counters and it's ridiculous yet again though this was another guy playing park the bus three at the back just park the bus sat there with all his players back and we managed to get through again i held the ball for so long and we go one nil up and then in the 68th minute he tries to counter mustafi steps out mustafi is an animal of a player he's an absolute beast i love him into a rigi finds the arm Puts it through 2-0 and that would be how that game would finish and how the division would finish. So we're done with Division 5. Happy days. We're moving on up in the world. Destroyed that guy for possession and everything. So we've got about 40,000 coins. Let me know what to do with the team, guys. Let me know. Team A or Team B. Tell me why. Thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe and I will talk to you later.